It's, I mean, Louie was so inventive and so creative with everything, you know, and for all those, all those haters out there that say West Side this and West Side that, hey man, fuck you, the numbers speak. I don't care, I hear, I see people saying things and oh, West Side bar, blah, blah, blah. Hey man, don't be jealous. Man, just deal with it. It is what it is. How important was it to have um, that figure? So you have Louie, right? Obviously he's motivating but it also gave you that person to go, I'm gonna fucking prove against, like, fuck that guy. He, he gave you an out for whatever way you wanted. Mm -hmm. He could either be there to motivate you, either negatively or positively, and he, mm -hmm. he'd fucking, he'd just say something to you, and then he knew everybody's, Dom would tell me. He knew everybody's triggers, too, right? Oh my gosh. He knew how to trigger he people. Knew him. He, he knew everybody's triggers. He did it all the yeah. time. He triggered people everything he yeah. did. You know, even Tommy, you were telling me a story where, you know, he'd take you in his, uh, his Hellcat or something, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he, 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 I wasn't in the car, so I don't know, but like. To where, well, and Harold will attest this, anyone who drove with him, he would get in and um, he wanted to get a reaction. His whole goal was for you <laughs> to fucking go, holy fuck. Just getting in the car with Lou, you're like, Jesus, like, like he was a good, dri good driver, but fuck, he pushed it. And uh, so we find a strip of a uh, fucking road to drive on, and there's a security guy who's, a uh, little hut right here. And that guy's like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And Lou would be like, mm, and then, like there was no like gentle on the throttle, mm -hmm. just foot down. And then like, you just say nothing, say nothing. He's like, oh, all right, all right. <laughs> and then it would go up a notch and then go up a notch, go up a notch until you're like, holy fuck, dude, we're going to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, but that was, it was always but he pushed pushing. everybody in every possible way. Well, he wanted to see, just wanted that react, and then you wouldn't give it to him. He liked to see where people broke, where's the breaking point yeah. set, you know? He did. You see, you messed up. You should have went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> right when you pushed on the phone. But just like you guys are saying, you just didn't want to give it to him. You just didn't want to fucking just. Well, you didn't. You, you never wanted to disappoint, him, right? So, and you, you knew. I was in the car. You knew it disappointed. <laughs> yeah. 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 I ain't dying. Yeah. 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 We ain't going out together. <laughs> you know, but you just didn't want to disappoint him. You know. Listen, he was he was such a you know. There's not a lot of good leaders in this world. You know, like he was a good leader. He he did it with some compassion, a lot of aggression. You know, but there was he had a multi multi-dimensional way of leading people. Yeah. And I don't even know if he did it on purpose, it was just his personality. He had know. that thing. Like you would do great, anything for him. Like, like you were like coaches. You'd do anything, anything for him. Yeah, it's like anything. you said, Marcus, people gravitated. They gravitated toward him, you'd right do anything for him, but yeah. you can gravitate toward him, but if you weren't that guy that was gonna give him 100%, yeah. he'd turn on you like a rattlesnake. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah. That was just the way it was. So yeah. if you thought you were gonna be something you were, and, and he saw through it, he'd expose it. Yeah. You'd either step up or step out. Yeah. Every time. So. How many people did you see do that? To where I've seen a lot of people. I just see I see them humiliate people to be honest. And we've all been humiliated though. But we just didn't give up. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know. But he'd he'd push it, he'd humiliate you and you'd leave, you know, and he'd say shit. Some people you'd see they just kind of like shrink yeah. and then look at slowly they slink out the door, kinda, you know. But like yeah. everybody wanted to do well for him. I mean, yeah. We, what we, happened to so and so? Where's he been? Yeah. 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 But you know what? That's how it should be. Yeah. And and a leader should have an army, and should have an army of killers. You know, what, what, yeah. you know I say killers. Not that you're gonna go kill people, but like army people that behind them. That's what a good leader forms. Yeah. And you have to have that. That's how you accomplish it in life. You okay. Know what I'm cool. saying. He literally, okay. me and Gino. I mean, he had anytime he had a problem. Like, we had some fucking asshole neighbors across from 590 Larkham that did something to one of his family members or tried to not be respectful. And um, me and Gene took care of it. Those guys never fucking even look over there again. Yep. Ever. Ever. And it happened a lot. We used to, did anybody say something about him or try to get Lou in trouble for something, this or that, you know? It was usually me and Gene, but we'd go and we'd fucking grab a hold of this dude. We'd rip some guy out of gold gym, put him up against the wall, and said, you ever fucking say Louie's name again? You're a fucking dead motherfucker. Yeah. You know, and Louie's like, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got to take care of We come back from the fight, you know, that, 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 with that large gym guy, you know? He was always like, fuck those guys. They fucking see anything but us, our gym, you know? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember we took him out one time? So we were there. We were at, where were we at? Mothers? Was it, was it, was it, oh. it, was it, no, was it, was it up, 
up on uh, North End. Is that the same place or no? Yeah. This, we, this was over here on the west side. We took him up to one of those places we used to go up to, like on 161, I think. And he's like, that's what you guys do all night? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, yeah, you know, we're trying to get lucky or whatever. You know? <laughs> I remember we went up to Mother's, and as soon as he got in, he went out on the dance floor and started dancing. No way. A hundred mile an hour for two hours straight. No way. <laughs> Doing like the running man. Oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. It's hilarious. Sweat I would have loved to have seen that. He is so funny. He is so funny, man. hilarious. Yeah. Was, he was down to her, too. You know, like, he was... I just... Did he, did he go out much with you guys outside of that? Did he party much? He went... Yeah. He, after after not, a couple not, times, not he was not like... Not interested. No. <laughs> you know? So we just hang out with him. Yeah. Or a lot of times, you know, Tyson was real young at the time doing fights. So we'd go over his house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always go watch fights. Always like boxing and stuff, you know. So we go do stuff like that a lot, though. But we always did stuff together. Always go to eat, always go over his house, hang out, or whatever, too, you know. I mean, we'd sit in his house afterwards, and he had this, he had dog, you know, Nitro. So this is Nitro. Nitro was our dude, right? So <clears throat> Nitro would, we'd be in the, me and Gino go sit in the house afterwards, right? And Louis still be on the gym where we're going to get changed. Some indoors be downstairs, right? And I'm like, let's let's wrap this dude up in uh, in super wraps. <laughs> <laughs> so so we were in yeah, this pit bull. We, we, he was like a mummy. And we're like, hey, little Nacho is ready for his warm up. <laughs> it's his squat day, right? He comes up and he's like. What? Take that shit off my fucking dog! What <laughs> that Gino somehow managed to put a cigarette in his, in his like jaw and he's walking around. Like, oh my god, when does Nitro got such bad habits? You know, why is he smoking? <laughs> he's like, get the fucking cigarette out of my dog's fucking mouth. <laughs> Gino was always uh, up to something. Oh, like, at like, one point, he hooked his med. He had a med collator. You remember it? It was in his house when we were training in, in the garage, but it was this fucking big, right? It had this like like an old radio dials on it, right? But it was an electronic thing, and you had the the the, the stimulate you, like a yeah. stim machine, right? Except like bionic, right? And so he go here, let me put this on, you know. So he, we're sitting there, and he was like, "What are you guys doing?" You know, it's like, "Oh, we're gonna let's see how this works." So he's strapping into this thing, he, and Gino goes, "I just turns it all the way up." Of course. I thought I almost had a heart attack with the electrical shock. I was like this. I couldn't even tell him to turn off. I was like, get, 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 get. And then he laughed, turned off, and go, take that. Get, get, get. And Louis laughing, laughing. And then she's like, we should put it on nitro. And I said, he'll, he'll kill us. I said, he'll, he'll fucking kill us. I had his dog, like his prime possession. I am not touching that dog with that mental That is too funny. You know? Now electricity on a dog, it'll kill him quick. Yeah. It will it? Yes, it will. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. But yeah, that dog used to come out there, he used to sit there, and the, the garage was awesome. It had like a kerosene heater. Okay, and it didn't work at the time. So, you know, we trained in like flannel shirts and jackets and stuff in the yeah. winter, you know? And uh, he'd have the, the heater, sometimes doors try to get it running before we get in there, you know? But it was, uh, there was this little hassock in the corner, and that's where Nitro stayed. So he'd sit there and watch us work out all day. He just sat there. He was so, so yeah, He's awesome. just mellow, wasn't he? He yeah. was the sweetest he was dog. Mellow. I love that dog so much. Yeah. <laughs>